I'm Bertie Tolar, the man who's often wrong about many things, among other things, television, because anytime I bring it up, I'm often looked at like I'm crazy when I bring up how television is wrecking our society. So today, I thought I was going to use a little music just to highlight how wrong I am, like usual when I'm talking about TV. So, the big thing is anytime when I talk about TV and how it's wrecking society, how it, it'll never help you, it, it, you have no proof that it actually helps you. The first thing people do is they run and they jump and they holler Discovery and Disney Channel and A&E, Arts and Entertainment, The Learning Channel, TLC. I thought that I could use this music from a friend, Danny, to highlight how wrong I am. Because sometimes, being wrong, you need to, you need a way to alleviate your stress. And with me, that's dancing to cool, suave, relaxing music. So how we're going to do this today is, we're going to go to Nelson's. Boom, boom, doom, 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 doom. We're going to Nelson's to show how wrong I am. And I, I apologize if you heard that noise in the background. That's just my cat. And and you should expect something like that from me, the guy who's usually wrong. I was wrong not to put my cat in the other room before I recorded this show. So let's go to Nelson's right now. And this is a great time to do it because it's the beginning of December. So we're going to review the top 10 from Nelson's for November, the end of November. And what we're likely to find, since I'm usually wrong, what we're going to be likely to find is what you always like to scream and holler, shout in my face anytime that I talk about that this is the hugest drain on society. What we're likely to find is proof that you are right. What we're likely to find is going to be the number one show, Discovery. Number two show is going to be coming from A&E, Arts and Entertainment, even though it's purely entertainment. Uh, Number three is likely going to come from the Learning Channel. Number four is probably more Discovery. Actually, number four, five, and six, and seven are probably all from Discovery. Number eight is probably Ehow and the History Channel. So So let's just get into it. Because I'm ready to be wrong and alleviate this stress. So here we go. Time to jump to Nelson's. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. I was a little unprepared for this. <laughs> I, was a, I was a little unprepared for this. Now I'm laughing. I don't know why I'm laughing. I guess it's very ironic that... I made this show about how wrong I am, and here I am, kind of being validated. The number one show was 60 Minutes. Now, apparently this kind of, it it snuck under, It, it, it got through the censors, and this was a fluke. I don't really know what happened. For some reason, uh, Sharks united from discovery or or pandas and leaflets wasn't the number one show and that really shocked me because i'm usually wrong with this stuff i mean i know everyone's watching (laughs) discovery and a and e and the history channel i don't know why the history of ancient egyptian egyptian kemet wasn't the number one show like we expected it or like you expected it to be I'm just glad I've got this music to dance to. It definitely does alleviate the stress. I mean, I've got a bit less stress. I'll say that honestly. Because so far, I was right one out of ten times. Just ten percent. I mean, those are low figures. If you're playing basketball and you're shooting free throws and and you're a starter, you don't want to be a ten percent free throw shooter. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. So, this is nothing to brag about. I mean, one out of ten, whatever. We're down by nine points. 
one out of ten won't cut it. This is where it comes down to winning or losing. One out of ten doesn't mean anything, Birdie. So, I'm probably going to be wrong with number two. I mean, whatever. Number one, I don't know how that got through, but let's just throw that out. The number one show, for some reason, was 60 Minutes. And although it wasn't Discovery or A&E or the Learning Channel or the History Channel, like everyone says, we're really watching, which no one actually watches. But for some reason, number two will probably validate what you like to say to my face. Let's just go to number two. Here it is. All right, number two was NBC NFL The Specials. I don't know what that's about. All right, you know what? This is a little like roulette. It's like a loaded game, maybe. Because sometimes a double zero will come once. And that could be expected. But but sometimes it's set up. Sometimes maybe the casino's cheating you. And maybe they, they fix the machine so that a double zero comes again. And you know that this is a lie. I mean, I'm the guy that's usually wrong about this stuff. I, I don't know how this happened. For some reason, we're going through the top ten. And the first two out of ten, they agree with what I always say, that no one's actually watching the high-quality value-having programming. People are just watching the trash. 60 Minutes. NFL. Alright. I I don't know what happened. Let's continue to... to number three. Because I'm sure number three... Like I said, this is a game. When you're down... 10 points, uh, a 20% free throw shooter doesn't actually mean much. Let's go to number three. Because this is where I'm going to get laughed at. Because I'm sure I'm about to be wrong. And you'll see the number three show probably comes from Discovery or A&E or the Learning Channel. And it's probably how to make a vest or how to sew a button. And I'm sure that must be the number three show. Because I'm a guy that's frequently wrong. I mean, I've been wrong about a lot of things. I remember I... I was probably, in my former life, one of the guys that predicted the coming of Jesus back in 1962. I mean, I I have a lot of things that I'm wrong about. Even in this lifetime. Let me try to think of some before we go to number three. I was... I was wrong about... I was wrong about wearing this right now because I've got this space heater next to me and I'm pretty hot. Bam. There's an example. So, with that said, I'm likely to be wrong about number three because for sure it's going to be on par with you. On par with the high quality educational value having uplifting programming probably a and e let's let let me just look at it now what is number three? Uh oh uh 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 oh dun, 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 dun. number three is nbc sunday night football i don't know how that also slipped through this is pretty crazy top 10 just trying to wrap up november because this is december You know, it it could have something to do with only November. Because I know that I say this is all the time. And I could just be randomly picking this time, too. I I mean, I don't want to make it seem like I planned this. Like, I plan to validate myself. I mean, I'm I'm usually wrong. I'm I'm always, I'm used to being told I'm wrong. Because I have these conversations and everyone's like, Bertie, you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm like, hey, What proof do you actually have that TV will ever improve the quality of your life? You're you're wrong. We've got Discovery. We've got A&E. We've got the History Channel. The Learning Channel. Yeah, but no one's actually watching that. Uh, yes, we are. I watched it yesterday. Me and my sister, we like to watch this. In my family, that's all we watch. And you like to make it seem that... This is what people actually watch when I always say, hey, no one's watching it. But for some reason, I don't know what happened. Because 
when we have this conversation, you lie to me, and then I say no one's watching it, and you say that's a lie, but I don't, I don't really know what these numbers mean. 18 million viewers for number one, 60 minutes. 21 million viewers with an 11.0 rating for number two. Number one had an 11.1 rating. 17 million viewers a week for number three, Sunday Night Football. I don't, I don't, I guess I made that up, even though Nielsen's reported this. But because I'm reporting it, and I'm usually wrong, just the fact that the words are coming out of my mouth is enough to... To, to invalidate me. Let's go to number four. Because number four, you know, I'm probably, when I say, like, you lack any proof that TV will ever improve your life, I'm probably right with the top three, but not number four. For sure, number four is going to be Annie. It's going to be Annie, 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 Annie. Come on, Annie. Come on, come on, come on, Annie. All right, let's see. What is it? Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. See, I don't know how this slipped in there. Dancing with the stars. Hmm. Dancing with the stars. Bunch of celebrities and joking and low quality. I mean, what was it recently on one of these dancing celebrity talent shows? The racist judge laughing at Chinese guy saying, hey, go cook me some fried rice. I mean, I know that's high quality television programming and and I don't, I don't know how this slipped through Dancing with the Stars. I'm, I'm sure number five must be different. Let's, let's just skip this because I don't even want to harp on Dancing with the Stars. Let's go to number five, probably a high quality program. All right, number five is, oh, Oh, Dancing with the Stars SP. I don't know what that means, but it's another Dancing with the Stars. I said we were going to stop talking about it, but apparently between those two, 14 million point six viewers are viewing the first one, then 14 million point seven viewers are viewing the second one. Uh, what's wrong with me? I'm off today. Usually I'm wrong about Everything. I'm, I'm, I'm usually pretty wrong. But today. Could be the gods are. Doing me a favor. Maybe the gods are secretly altering. Nielsen's data. Specifically for me. Just to give me one day. To be right about something. Because in, in general, I'm wrong. Anytime we talk about TV, I'm always wrong. I'm always set to be biased because I'm only reading anti-TV information. And, and it's because I believe people are watching all the reality shows, which you love to say no one's actually watching. Because I'm like, we're obsessed with celebrities. And you always say, well, no, we aren't. No one, I don't care about that. No one I know cares about that. No one actually watches it. That's just a few people. But for some reason... Number four and five are in there. All right, let's go to number six. Because I'm sure with number six, we're going to find that discovery and some sharks and lions and giraffes and kangaroos are going to be occupying the lives and time of millions of people worldwide. Let's see what we have. Uh, You know what? I did not plan this. I didn't plan it. I didn't make it. And number six, NFL through post game. 17 million people a week. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to go through all of these because I'm, I'm very shocked because generally I'm wrong and I'm wrong about a lot of things. I, you know what? I, I just was patting my daughter's face, didn't really wash my hands, I was wrong there, got the space heater there, was wrong, I made a lot of mistakes today, and then, but for some reason, I'm, I'm, it looks like when I'm looking at number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, wow, 10 out of 10, looks like I was surprisingly, huh, surprisingly, I 
pretty accurate with what I said. Said no one's watching Discovery, even though you love to say, I'm watching it. My family, we watch it. It changed my life. Yes. After you invested 35,000 hours in to the slave box, watching Dancing with the Stars and the NFL and Kobe Bryant and CSI and Big Bang Theory. Then you found one hour when you had low self-esteem about how much time you wasted and you turned on Discovery to watch it and then you felt good about yourself. So you could say, hey, even though I wasted the previous 16 hours, I kind of feel good because I watched that 30 minutes of Discovery and I feel like I got something out of today. So my self-esteem has been boosted because it was so low that I felt like I had to throw away the previous 15 hours. But those 30 minutes of Discovery kind of brought me up. You know, I'm, I'm really sorry about this. I plan to make a video and get on here and apologize for being wrong. But for some reason, number six is CBS NFL through postgame. Seven, NCIS Los Angeles. Eight, Castle. Nine, Person of Interest. Ten, Sunday Night NFL Free Kick. All right. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to make this a monthly thing. I love this music Danny gave me. I'm going to use this music to be wrong next time. I'm going to keep it. This is our end of the month music. For when I'm wrong. And you know, this is honestly a fluke. I apologize for the ratings. Although I didn't make them. I didn't collect the data. I didn't. I did not make 18 million people go out and watch 6... 60 minutes. I'm sorry about that. I apologize that millions of people went out and watched it, even though you said they were going to go out and watch Discovery, even though I, I cannot actually control those people. I do apologize for them watching it because had they not watched it and really went to watch Sharks United, then you would have been right. And I could have been proven wrong, which was the whole point of this video to show how wrong I am. And, and even though it didn't happen, I'm going to do this next month because I must prove myself wrong. Because you always love to say that I'm wrong. I'm stupid. I'm an extremist. I am an extremist. I mean, I am such an extremist because I said no one's actually watching any quality programming. And even even your discovery, I was reading <laughs> I was reading an article about I think it was Discovery or A and E. Now to keep up with all the other trash which people actually watch, which these ratings show, but apparently they don't show. I'm making them up, even though you can just go to Nelson.com. Top 10. They were... They did a show about, like, chasing ghosts and... and gowls and goblins. Trying to keep up with, <laughs> with the other trash, because they knew that if they don't do that, then... No one's actually going to watch Sharks United, which you actually don't want to watch. You don't want to see a panda. Who wants to see a panda? You want to see a panda do Kung Fu. That's why we've got Kung Fu Panda 1, Kung Fu Panda 2. You don't want to see a panda in actuality. Because if you did, what you would see is this. You see, that's pretty boring. That's pretty boring. To just watch a panda be a panda. See, I've got a cat in the room. Like I said earlier, he was getting into the box. Made a little noise. You probably heard it in the background. I've got a cat in the room. And let me tell you. My cat, I think he's pretty cool. I think he's interesting. But you don't want to see him. You want to see Tom. Tom and Jerry. You want to see Jerry throw a pie at Tom. Tom duck underneath the cake or the pie. Then he's going to run. Tom is going to run into the next room, into the pantry, build a rifle out of some common tools, everyday tools, and then go chase Jerry down with it. Then Jerry's going to go jump into a tank. And you know, it actually is not cool with you anymore to watch reality. Although, I guess I'm making that up because everyone is watching reality you're like no 
No, we're watching Discovery. We're watching your cat on Discovery. You are. You are. Yes, 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 yes. For some reason, the numbers just don't reflect it this month or this week or this year. But I'm sure it was just a coincidence. Next week, we're going to find, or next month, we're going to find that the coincidence has ended. The 30-year, 40-year, 50-year coincidence has ended. And Bertie Tolar is wrong. Dun, 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 dun. So, with that said, I'm out. I apologize on behalf of the 18 million people that put number one in its position. The 21 million people that put number two in its position. And this is only in the U.S., mind you. I apologize for the next 17 million, 14 million, 14 million, 17 million, 12 million, 11 million, 11 million, and 11 million. I'm out. I apologize. Please make Sharks United number one.